HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to fill you in on the latest happenings in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we will take you to 45 South Street where CrossFit Resilience hosted an opening for their new location. The Board of Selectmen recognized the hard work of the Charter Review Committee. We'll get you filled in with how the Hillers Sports fall season is going so far and Matt Clark will get you up to date with the latest HCAM programming. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. The Hopkinton Board of Selectmen unanimously approved a proclamation declaring Columbus Day weekend 2017 as Hopkinton High School Alumni Weekend. The Selectmen also congratulated members of the Hopkinton High School Class of 1967 on its 50th reunion. Okay, now the Board of Selectmen um will consider approving a proclamation to claim <coughs> Columbus Day weekend 2017 as Hopkinton High School Alumni Weekend. Um, uh, would the uh, members of the class of 67 please come on up. Welcome. You want to move it up? Yeah, Let's absolutely. <coughs> You guys went right to the picture. We were going to talk about you. Yeah, we are going to talk about you guys first. We are going to talk about you when we're done, though. But that's fine. Right. We'll, we'll, do the, we'll do that afterwards. So we have a proclamation here. Town of Hopkinton. We, the Hopkinton Board of Selectmen, Town of Hopkinton, Massachusetts, are pleased to congratulate the Hopkinton High School Class of 1967 in Hopkinton, Massachusetts, a 1748 on its 50th reunion. The Board of Selectmen wishes to congratulate the members of the Hopkinton High School Class of 1967 on this very, uh, special occasion and declare Columbus Day weekend uh, of 2017 of, as Hopkinton High School Alumni Weekend. Signed under our hand in the seal of the 26th day of September, John Catino, Chair, Claire Wright, Vice Chair, Todd Sestari, Brian Kerr, and Brendan Tedstone. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a pleasure to uh, present this to you guys. Okay, we actually, I'd like to come around. Yeah, look at here, smiling. Oh, yeah, so fantastic. Thank you. Have a great weekend. That'll be a lot of fun. Congratulations. Thank you. Where's the big party going to be? Yeah, that's um, Hopkinton Country Club. Oh, great. Very nice. I'm just doing things all weekend. Awesome. Can you just... Excellent. Are you going to come to the football game? Yes, 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 you can. Oh, great. Now, we think there's a big study prep for the new old high school. The new old high school. The old high school. That was great. You know, there's so much change in Hopkinton. It's just fun to see some people that have been here this long. I don't know whether you carved your names in the desk or what your name is. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Snappy Dogs served up some brats and samples were available from Jack Abbey's Craft Liquors at Marty's in Hopkinton as they hosted their first Oktoberfest event. So we've got the House Lager, the Copper Legend, which is our Oktoberfest, and then we have the Hopkonius, which you can find pretty much anywhere these days. So we have the Highland Milk right out here tonight, so you can try everything. We've got Dogfish Head Pumpkin and then Seattle Cider's Co. Pumpkin Spice. This is our second fall here in town and we wanted to do another party. We did our party last year so we combined it with the um, true Oktoberfest. So we're smack dab in the middle, in the middle of the original German Oktoberfest. So we 
combine it with Snappy Dog and this great man from the high school. Talk about some of the vendors that are here and uh, some of the uh, different activities you got going on. So we have Jack's Abbey and we have um, Atlantic Beverage representing um, Dogfish. We have Snappy Dog and we have an escape band from uh, Hopkinton High. And it's been a great afternoon and everybody's welcoming party. The Board of Selectmen recognized the hard work of the Charter Review Committee throughout the past year plus as they worked hard to accomplish a successful review of the town's charter. The Board of Selectmen recognized the volunteers of the Charter Review Committee for the hard work they did during last year's Charter Review. It was one heck of a process. Well, I, I have some accolades because not only did they put in a huge amount of work, but the amount of detail and the understanding of every last word of that charter. I, I, I was continually amazed when one of the members would be asked any kind of a question and they knew that down to every sentence and every comma and um, they were the most thorough, um, dedicated uh, board you could ever ask for. So I don't know that I would have had the patience and the perseverance that any of these people had, but I really take my hat off to you. Here. So change is never easy, and uh, change in Hopkinton is never easy uh, times two, right? We've seen that many times in, in many different things we've all been involved in. But I thought the change that you <coughs> folks brought forward to the town to consider, uh, the change you brought forward and the way you did it was really well done. Change is hard no matter what it is, but the way you guys managed the change process and worked everybody through and walked everybody through you know, the things you were considering. Um, uh, I was really impressed with it. And I was surprised that there wasn't a bigger fuss <laughs> over some of the stuff that went, went through. Um, but I think it's all really good. Uh, uh, you know, art, the article was great. Everything that went through you know, at the town meeting went, went really well. Um, but the change you brought about was good, and the way you did it was great. So thank you for your time. I know it took a lot of time, an awful lot of patience, and a lot of good listening skills. Uh, and I think uh, the community is better off because of it. So thank you very much. Okay, anything? Anything? Okay, let's go up. I'll just, I'll just add that. Oh, oh here we go. Going into this process, I was going to really point out that uh, the way the charter is written up, it's that one of a review needs to be done at least once every ten years. There was nothing limiting us saying that we couldn't do it more than once every 10 years after going through it. I know why we only go through it every 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the great the great use of work? The last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, So this one's going to be given. I know these little guys weren't around <coughs> when you were promoted throughout the police department for pending and things like that. So it probably would mean a lot for you to have your, your little guys to come up and hand you your... says that um, Tom Hopkins certifies that, that the above have contributed significantly to Hopkins' quality of life through his or her volunteer efforts as recognized by the board of selectmen and therefore awarding the certificate of appreciation given this 26th day of September 2017. Again, thank you very much. 
Please have the cameras only so big. I'm sorry. Coming up next on HCAM News, we'll have the latest in Hiller's sports. CrossFit Resilience opened at their new location, and Matt Clark will fill you in with the latest HCAM programming with our HCAM Insider. You're locked into HCAM News. Don't go anywhere. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and healthcare services. Are you involved with a group in the Hopkinton community? HCAM can help you get the word out. Get online and head over to hcam.tv slash community groups to find out more. We will help get word out about what your organization has going on through a number of ways, including through our TV stations, social media pages, and YouTube page. We have a number of other ways we are working to get word out about our member community organizations, such as digital screen promotion, and we can even help your nonprofit organization produce a professional video. Find out more right now at hcam.tv slash community groups. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Hi. My name is Margie Wiggin, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen, and they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join us. Welcome back to HCAM News. The Hillers fall sports season is off to a great start and has already been filled with some great games. Here is a look around the board at all of this season's Hillers teams. To the back line it goes. Kept in play for now. Sent over by Bergeron. Sail with the setup and there it is. Jill Sarapusco with the winning point for the Hillers. And Medway is undefeated no more as Hopkinton puts a L in the Medway record book via a sweep. 25 to 22 in the first set, 25 to 13 in the second set, and 26 to 24 in the third set. And the Hillers improved a seven and two on this season. The Hillers sports fall season is underway. And so far, it has been a great one for Hiller Nation. Boys and girls cross country both stand at 3 and 0. Oh. The lowest score takes the win in cross country. On the boys' side, they defeated Medfield 25 to 30, Westwood 24 to 33, and Norton 23 to 36. The girls defeated Medfield 20 to 43, Westwood 27 to 30, and Norton 25 to 36. Hiller's girls field hockey has six wins, one loss, and one tie. This past week, they captured a 1-0 win over previously first place Dover Sherborne and tied a tough Westwood team 1-1. Hiller's golf is also off to a fantastic start. The golf team stands at 5-2 on the season. The Hillers defeated Holliston, Millis, and Medway to open the season. They then lost a close one at Norton and then followed up by defeating Holliston and Ashland. On Wednesday, September 27th, they fell to Dover Sherborne by just four points. In the picture, Hillers golfer Abby J receives an award for the Boston Globe All-Scholastic Golf Selection. 
For the first time since 2012, the Hillers football team started the season off 3-0. They opened with an 18-14 win at Wayland and then defeated Medway 42-0 in their home opener. And they then grabbed another impressive road win, 14-0 over Bishop Fian. The Hillers defense has given up an average of under 5 points per a game. Very impressive stuff by the Hillers. Hillers girls volleyball is a whopping 7-2 on the season. They lost to a very tough Barnstable team on September 19th, but followed up with a sweep of Millis on Monday, September 25th, and took down undefeated Medway on the road by way of the sweep in a statement win. Hillers girls volleyball eyeing a state championship repeat if they make the postseason, which more than likely they will. They will compete for their first year in the Division I playoff bracket instead of Division II. Hillers boys soccer is right in the playoff hunt. They currently have three wins, four losses, and a tie. On Saturday, September 23rd, they tied Ashland at one apiece and then followed up with a 4-0 win over Dedham on Tuesday, September 26th. Hillers girls soccer also very much in the playoff hunt. They have four wins, three losses, and a tie this season. This past week, they defeated Hopedale 5 to nothing on Monday, September 25th. I recently caught up with the Hillers girls soccer captains. I'm Kate Huebner. I'm a senior and I play right mid or forward. I'm Sammy Hirsch. I'm a senior and I play center mid. Big opportunity here for the Hillers in a game that will likely not have many goals at all. This is a situation that if you do not want to end in a tie, it seems you have to take advantage of. Airs it out to the right side, and that's a Hiller's goal. Sammy Hirsch on the free kick makes it one nothing Hopkinton. It's, it's a pretty similar group of girls. We only lost like five or six seniors, so not as many as the boys team did, but we've been working hard with them and doing a lot of drills and trying out different positions to see how we can work out the players that we lost. It's also a really close-knit group of girls. Like we've, Because we've been together for a couple years now, we all get along really well, so whatever we're doing, we also have a lot of fun with it too. But we also are really focused on improving our record from last season. One of our team goals is to make tourney. I have high hopes for this year. So far, we're on a good track. We have we are two and two this season, so two wins, two losses. Had a win yesterday against Westwood, so looking good. Yeah, and also one of like our personal and team goals is also for me tournament, and um, also to have a very close-knit kind of team, like I said, and keep all the positive attitudes up for the whole season. Um, yeah. What's it like playing for Coach Hill Brian? You got it. It's good. Um, I think she's a really nice person. She's a really good coach. She knows what she's talking about. Um, she does a nice job of talking to us and helping us understand like what we need to be doing to help improve on the field. Don't forget to be on the lookout for Hiller's football, volleyball, soccer, and more Hiller's sports airing on the HCAM channels. After a successful year plus in business, CrossFit Resilience upgraded and purchased their very own space at 45 South Street. They recently hosted an opening ceremony at the new facility. A ceremony was held as CrossFit Resilience reopened at 45 South Street. Who are going to be helping me out? Uh, one, meet. one second, I forgot something that's going to only lead to bad luck if we don't do it. We forgot to cut the ribbon. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 he was in coach mode, he was ready to go. <laughs> Look at these scissors! It's <laughs> <laughs> so the little things in life, right? <laughs>
State Representative Carolyn Dykema also spoke at the CrossFit Resilience opening festivities. Good morning, everyone. It is a tough place to be before the biggest wad ever, so I know I better keep it short, but I just wanted to congratulate Drew and Brooks and the whole team here. Um, Drew reminded me that um, he opened the original center right down the street five years ago, which seemed like about two years, but it was five years ago. So to be here today and see this magnificent new facility, to see so many people from the community here, um, to see a local business expanding, to see a business that is promoting the good health and well-being of, of all of our community, both here in Hopkinton and the community at large, is just an exciting thing to be a part of. So I'm so thrilled to be back here again five years later and um, to see these great, this great equipment. And, and the one thing that I said when I came in is I, I would absolutely love to be here as long as you don't make me do any exercise. <laughs> so I am gonna have the great privilege to be able to watch you and learn what the biggest whatever actually is. So congratulations to all of you and thanks for letting me be here. She said, she said she couldn't work out because she didn't have a pair of sneakers, that but I'm willing to bet we could find a pair of sneakers. <laughs> Thank you very much, and congrats to all of you. Before I, I'm so um, distracted, I, I have a, um, an official State House citation here um, to present to um, the CrossFit Resilience team on behalf of the Massachusetts Legislature, um, just again acknowledging the great work you do here and this exciting expansion. And it reads, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to CrossFit Resi Resilience CrossFit and team in recognition of the joyous occasion of your grand reopening right here in Hopkinton, signed by Carolyn Dyke of the State Rep Representative and Speaker Bob DeLeo. So, congrats. CrossFit Resilience attempted to set the world record for the largest group workout at the opening festivities. That's two minutes worth. At two minutes, that's one round. We're going to take a 30 second quick break, reset, get ready for the next round. Okay, we're going to do that four times through to equal our 10 minutes. So, a huge turnout today uh, for your opening event. How's everything going? How are you feeling right now? It's been terrific. It's great to be surrounded by all of our members, all of our friends, uh, a lot of new potential members. Uh, seem very interested, so it's a great party, it's a celebration, we couldn't be happier to be doing what we've been doing for five years, and then also celebrating this beautiful new building, so it's a great day. And how do you think the group workout went? I, it, 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 initially it looked a little chaotic, I was worried, but I think it all turned out great thanks to Coach Brooks. Well, great job and congratulations. Thank you, sir. of programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is HCAM's promotions coordinator, Matt Clark. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. I'm Matt Clark and here's what's happening this week on HCAM. 
On Friday, September 29th at 8 p.m., the Coffee Break hosts are on location at the Hopkinton Respite Center, talking with the owners about the important work they do in the community on a brand new episode of Hopkinton Coffee Break. On Monday, October 2nd at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers girls volleyball team takes on the Westwood Wolverines, live on HCAM Ed. And at 8.30 p.m., Dr. Sean Palfrey talks with, about the unexpected dangers of the flu virus and the importance of immunization on a new episode of Physician Focus. On Tuesday, October 3rd at 6.30 p.m., the Hopkinton Board of Selectmen's meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Wednesday, October 4th at 7 p.m., Margie and Jen talk local and national happenings and invite you to join the conversation on a new episode of The Jen and Margie Show, live on HCAM TV. On Thursday, October 5th at 6.30 p.m., Margie Wigan is back talking with kids and community members about the importance of self-discipline on a new episode of Character Matters. And at 7 p.m., the Hopkinton School Committee meeting will air live on HCAM TV. And on Friday, October 6th at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers girls volleyball team takes on the Holliston Panthers, live on HCAM Ed. If you want to know more about all of HCAM shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash connect, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website, hcam.tv, you can view details about a couple local upcoming events and also the latest Hopkinton Hillers sports report. If you have a Hopkinton-related video photo or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. We hope you enjoyed the nice heat wave this past week. And as always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. HCAM is supported by our viewers and by Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, providing highly personalized financial planning, wealth management, and customized solutions through transparent, unbiased advice. Visit us at blackstonevalleywealth.com.